What's good, guys? Yo, boy! No mercy, no mercy. 4K. No mercy in the building pen. Back at your mother, banger. Reaction video today, we got another Wary Word, Larry Bird reaction for you guys. You guys love and enjoy these Larry Bird reactions here on the channel. So, about time we see another one, man. What NBA legends and players think of Larry Bird? Let's check it out. Let's see what it's talking about. If you enjoy this video, enjoy this reaction, want to help support me, want to see more bird reactions here on the channel, please smash like button and subscribe. If you're a new guy, I post every single day for you guys. Daily videos just like this. Daily bangers. If you want to see more birds, just hit the like button. That's how I'm going to know. But let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts below in the comments. What you guys think about this video, my reaction to it. I hope you enjoy. And let's get it. What's good, bro? If you want to see full and uncut reactions earlier than when I post them on here on YouTube, consider checking out the Patreon. Link is in the description. Support you on Patreon. Helps me keep making banger videos for you guys, bro. What NBA legends and players think of Larry Bird? Yo, there's a, there's a Wait, photograph. Wait, let's check it out. Yo, there's a, there's a photograph of Larry and I choking one another. And it looked like a moment in which... Uh, Yo, that, was... that, 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 that dude looked crazy, bro. Yo, the way they got each other grabbed is... Yo, they look like they really... About, like, they, it's about to be on some Mortal Kombat time and really about to uh, crush their, their tonsils out and rip out their, rip out their like... Oh my god. You know what I'm saying? Take a swing. It, it <laughs> like, yeah, it looked like it's on Mortal Kombat gruesome timing right now. I ain't Larry and I choking one another. And it looked like a moment in which uh, he was going to take a swing. <laughs> I said, you're crazy. I'm not shooting a commercial with Larry. People always ask me, who's the hardest player I've ever had to guard? What? And there was Michael Jordan, George Gervin, the late, great Mike Mitchell. I mean, so many players. I always say Larry Bird. Magic Johnson once said, Larry Bird is so good, it's frightening. And today, we're peeling back the layers of that okay. fear to uncover why NBA legends confess that Larry Bird was nothing short of a basketball god. But there is more to Larry than scaring the living daylights out of Magic Johnson. The hick hey, man, from... Hey, man. <laughs> Hey, bro, you came and knock it. Bird was a was a different breed on the basketball court, or not even was. Bird is a different breed on the basketball court, man. You put him in today's game, he will kill everybody. W. Bird. French Lick wasn't just a master on the court. Bird, daylights man. out of Magic Johnson. The hick from French Lick wasn't just a master on the court. He was a psychological chess player. He played mind games with his opponents. I saw Larry Bird one night in Phoenix. I they were losing big time at the half, and they come out in the third quarter. And Larry did not take a shot, but dominated the game. He had seven assists in the third quarter, and mm. they came back and won the game. He could affect the game without taking a shot. Who else can you say that about to that degree? Nobody. Michael could never do that. Never. Michael had to have the ball. I don't want to be that guy, but now I'm saying about, it's about Bird, but you feel me? You see the title of the video, man. You know and I'm saying LeBron got that impact, too. But respect to Bird is why I love Bird and his game so much, too. Because he literally is like, like his game reminds me of Bron LeBron reminds me of Bird's game. You know what I'm saying? LeBron took a lot of notes of Bird. You feel me? He studied Bird a lot. So it's all respect to Bird. But uh, he said, who else can you say that? LeBron could impact the game with a lot of this uh, helping his assisting, dishing out assists uh, to turn the, the, turn the turn the side of the game. LeBron does that as well. But I'm not trying to be that guy. I'm sorry, man. I'm not trying to glaze here. But, man, I'm sorry, bro. I, I, he asked the question. He asked, who else can you say it about? I, 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 say that about to that degree. Nobody. You feel me? I, the game. <laughs> I, 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 I'm reacting for a reason, man. I, I had to say, I had to just get my Came, Without taking a shot. Who else can you say that about to that degree? All respect Nobody. to Bird, though, man. We all, you know what I'm saying? We all know Bird is a legend and is all-time great. And LeBron... A lot of his game came he from could Bird, affect the so. game without taking a shot. Who else can you say that about to that degree? Nobody. Very Michael different. could never do that. Never. Michael had yeah. to have the ball. Now, I know you've heard the GOAT debates, Jordan, LeBron, and the list goes on. But what if I told you that there's a Hall of Famer who thinks Larry Bird might be the best to ever do it? Okay. Larry the legend, the man with the mullet, the king of trash talk, the architect. If you, if you told me that, I wouldn't. I wouldn't think that's crazy. <laughs> Why he said, what if I told you if there's a Hall of Famer that thinks Bird is the GOAT? I wouldn't think that's crazy. Uh, that, Bird got a case. He got a case. He was different. If it wasn't for all the injuries, he would have had a stronger case if he didn't get all the injuries uh, during his career. 
What? Legend, the man with the mullet, the king of I trash think that's talk, crazy. the architect of unlegend. I would not think that's crazy at all. The mullet, the king of trash talk, the yes, architect sir. of unforgettable moments, might just be the true goat. We'll get to that. Early mm. days. Born on December 7th, 1956 in West Baden, Indiana, and raised in the basketball crucible of French Lick, Larry Bird's roots were as humble as they come. Wow, 1956. His high school stats read like video game stats. 31 points, 21 rebounds, and 4 assists per game. And... 31 points and 21 rebounds as a high school student is insane. No wonder he earned a scholarship to Indiana University. But life on a sprawling what? campus of 33,000 proved too overwhelming for the small town kid. After less than a month, Bird found himself on a U-turn back to French Lick. Larry, at 17, was just a homesick kid navigating a sea of confusion. He later confessed, The school was just too big. I was a homesick kid who was lost and broke. Mm. Bird decided to take a break from basketball and work for the municipality. He cut grass, painted benches, striped streets, and even drove a garbage truck. A far cry from the glitz of college hoops, wow. but he wasn't done dreaming. He enrolled at a local junior college, briefly, before committing to Indiana State in 1970. Wow, hard, hard worker later. I did not know he, he even was on the, on the uh, garbage truck. Enrolled at a local junior college briefly before committing to Indiana State in 1975. His message to his garbage truck crew, I'll be back and I'll be the boss. But life <laughs> threw him a curveball. In that same year, his father took his own life. It was a gut-wrenching blow that would have shattered most, but Bird found solace on the court. After wow, taking bro, RIP, bro. I did not know that, man. Rest in peace, man. That's sad, bro. All right, hey, bro. And the fact that Bird overcame that tragedy and, 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 and became stronger throughout it and, and became an all-time great and legend that we still to this day talk about and revere, all respect to Bird, RIP to his, uh, his, his father, man. In a season off as a transfer, he scored more than 30 points per game in his first two years at Indiana State. Wow. As a junior, he earned All-American honors. Now, despite being a college sensation, Larry wasn't a shoe-in for the top NBA picks in 1978. Not first, not second, not even third. What? It took until the sixth pick for the Boston Celtics to roll the dice on Bird, hoping he'd sprinkle some of his Midas touch on the struggling franchise. Bird, armed with a five-year, $3.25 million contract, entered Boston with skeptics questioning if he was worth the investment. Spoiler alert, he was. Yes, sir. No matter how good I am, I'm still just a hick from French Lick, he humbly declared. But wow, those doubting man. him were swiftly silenced. Humble, hum, humble bird, I like those. He humbly declared. He said, but those I'm doubting him were French swiftly Lick. silenced. In his rookie season, Bird orchestrated a Celtics revival. He took a lackluster 29-53 and 53 Boston Celtics squad and turn them into a 61 and 21 powerhouse. That's Bro. not a rookie season. That's a rookie resurrection. Bro. Oh, and did I mention he did that turnaround as a rookie this season is insane, man. Battling what some in the NBA nah, called. Nah, nah. Did he win the MVP? They, oh, he. I don't know if he won MVP, but he definitely had to be in contention because that, that's insane. Oh, and as did I mention too. he did this while battling what some in the NBA called white man's disease? A supposed inability to jump high. Now we all know Larry was a breed of player unlike any other. White Standing man's tall at crazy. six foot nine, with what? passing skills and court vision that left fans in awe. And let's not forget, he was one of the pioneers of the three-point shot, making it rain long before it became the norm. But here's the twist: there's another player, Oscar Schmidt, who mirrored Bird's game, albeit on the international stage. Schmidt is hailed as one of the greatest international players of all time. He is the Olympic scoring leader with over 1,000 total points, and that's no small feat. Let's rewind to 1992 in Barcelona. The stage for one of the most iconic matchups. Schmidt, representing Brazil, faced off against Larry Legend and the legendary US Dream Team. It was a clash of the titans. But fast forward to 2013, and Larry Bird had the honor of welcoming Oscar Schmidt into the Basketball Hall of Fame. And even before uttering a word about his storied career, Schmidt drops a bombshell of admiration for Larry Legend. He declared, It's too easy to have Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant as an idol. The guy flies around and does whatever he wants. It's too easy. 
My guy doesn't run, doesn't jump, and plays the best out of everybody else. He wow. is here. As the crowd erupts in applause, Schmidt <laughs> okay. points directly at Bird, emphasizing, Amen. this is my idol, the best player wow. ever, in my opinion. Hey, man. NBA revival. Hey, man. That's a lot of respect right there. Respect to Schmidt for that, bro. That's a lot of respect to Bird. Is my right idol, there. the best player ever, in my opinion. Give me a lot of flowers to Bird. There. NBA revitalization. W means. W means. Before Bird and Magic, the NBA was like that underappreciated band playing in the corner of a dive bar. But the Larry Magic duo cranked up the volume, turned up the lights, and suddenly, the NBA wasn't on the sidelines. It was the headline act. Bird's role in the revitalization should be etched in basketball history. Three consecutive MVP seasons, unheard of for a forward, finals MVP twice, first team all league for nine straight seasons. Wow. Larry Bird wasn't just a baller. He was a basketball messiah. The dude had this yes, magical touch that transformed teammates into champions. His court vision was ridiculous, and his shooting, ice in his veins. And defense, Got the shot. Oh, don't even get me started. Igudala, in a the rare pass. open admission, declared Bird as the best white basketball player ever. He declared, Larry didn't have no flaws. Facts, facts. And I'm gonna go out there on a limb, and this is the first time I've ever said this in an open setting. I'll take Larry Bird nice. over Magic Johnson. He can play in any era. Igudala believes Bird's game transcends time and borders. NBA, FIBA, ABA, EuroLeague, you name it. He even revealed a side of Bird that makes him even more extraordinary. He said, the man will tell you where he was going. I'm going here and then I'm stopping right there, that little logo right there. I'm stopping right there and I'm gonna pull up. And he would do exactly that. Yeah, when we talk about Larry Bird, we're talking about a player who terrorized opponents throughout the 80s. The man could dribble and pass like a point guard. But here's a gem from the Larry Bird archives that adds a touch of humor to his greatness. At the height of his dominance, when the media labeled him the Great White Hope, Bird found it disrespectful to be guarded by a fellow white player. <laughs> Charles Barkley spilled yeah. the beans on the Dan Patrick Show, recounting a conversation with Bird mid-game. According to Sir Charles, Bird said, Y'all got a white guy trying to guard me. That's disrespectful. There's not a white guy on the planet that can guard me. Yo. Classic Larry. Ooh. Competition hey, level. He said there's not one on the From planet. From Isaiah Thomas's Pistons to Julius Hurting's 76ers in the East to Magic's Lakers and Hakeem Olajuwon's Rockets in the finals, Bird battled and conquered the best of the best. It wasn't just about the Celtics as a team. Larry Bird's prowess stood out even among basketball titans. So Michael Jordan in the 80s, the best year that he had was he was the MVP of the league and the Defensive Player of the Year, I believe that was in 88. Yes. We 88. Beat them four, we beat them four to one. I'm going to say that again. Damn. Four to one. They oh, won nine nice. games. In the Damn. And he never beat Larry Bird. He never beat Magic and Kareem. He Damn. never won. And all I'm saying is in the 80s, what I remember in the 80s, hey, that's in the it 80s, was but... Philadelphia mm -hmm. with Dr. J. Hey, it, it, it was early in Jordan's career, but it's still facts. It still happened, right? You know what I'm saying? How Jordan fans always hold so many things against Braun. It still happened. It was early in the 80s, it was in the 80s, but it, it, Jordan was having some issues with, with the Pistons and the Celtics, man. Like, come on, bro. We all know it. We all know it. What I remember in the 80s, it was Philadelphia mm -hmm. with Dr. J, Magic, yep. Kareem, Burt, Michael Jordan. He he was a non-factor. Let's get one thing straight. Larry Bird's career <laughs> isn't a stat sheet. <laughs> now, let's go. You're not a factor disrespectful. Let's get one thing straight. Larry Bird's career isn't a stat sheet. <laughs> Yo, why he said it? He wasn't like topping the league in scoring. Nah, Bird... Isaiah Thomas had no chill right there. <laughs> He ain't give no fuck. Man, no chill. Isn't a stat sheet symphony. He wasn't topping the league in scoring or rebounding, nor was he etching his name into the record books for assists. Yet, whenever the Celtics needed a dose of greatness, Bird delivered like clockwork. But here's the real kicker. Red Auerbach, the sage of Celtics wisdom, knew this all along. Auerbach highlighted Bird's greatness before the GOAT talk began. Bird's greatness went beyond stats, Auerbach emphasized. When Bird had his third consecutive MVP year, 
Auerbach emphasized to Sports Illustrated, to truly comprehend Bird, do not focus only on his numbers. His presence, his total control on the court truly count. Even on nights when Bird didn't emerge as the stat leader early in the game, he operated on a different plane strategically and mentally. Auerbach in a recent reflection stated, after extensive soul searching, I believe he is one of the greatest players to ever wear an NBA uniform. Definitely, for sure. It wasn't about sure. the numbers. It was about Bird's chess-like mastery of the game. Fast forward to today, and the challenge lies in persuading others of Bird's unique greatness. In an mm. era enamored with stats, Bird's impact might be a tougher sell. People are fascinated by numbers, but Bird's greatness goes beyond that. Yeah. Post-1986 era. That's true, bro. A lot of people don't appreciate Bird or even think about Bird nowadays because they don't want to go back and do the real research to see how impactful and great he really was or is. He really is an all-time great, all-time one of the greatest, in my opinion, definitely easily top five, easily top five all time. And a lot of people underrate him or just don't really know his game like that. It's sad, Greatness but. goes beyond that. Bird is different. Post-1986 era. Now, the tale takes a turn after the 1986 season. Bird faced a formidable adversary. That's why we here. That's why we here, because we appreciate Bird here on this channel. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate Bird here. Ain't gonna lie, man, one of my favorite players. He's definitely, like, top, like one of my top, like, probably three favorite players all the time. Okay. W. Bird. I ain't gonna lie. We appreciate him here, man. If you're enjoying this video, by the way, I want to see more Bird videos here. Please hit the like button, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how I know you guys enjoy my reactions to these videos and uh, shit. You appreciate me reacting to some bird. I really appreciate you hitting the like button. It helps me grow. If you want to subscribe too, please subscribe. I post it every single day here. Goes you know beyond that. I really Post-1986 era. Now the tale takes a turn after the 1986 season. Bird faced a formidable adversary, a relentless back injury that lingered until the twilight of his career in 1992. Bird's resilience was tested in a battle, casting shadows on his performance. However, glimpses of his prime still flickered. Amidst diversity, Bird showcased flashes of brilliance that defined his greatness. Take, for instance, the classic shootout against Dominic Wilkins in the epic Game 7 of the 1988 Eastern Conference Finals. Despite his injury, Bird summoned his prime and delivered a remarkable performance that basketball enthusiasts still okay, marvel at. Okay, he summoned his prime. Fast forward to 1991, a moment he etched in Boston Celtics. He summoned his prowess, summoned the powers out of himself. Fast forward to 1991, a moment etched in Boston Celtics lore. Bird, battling not just opponents, but the physical toll of a head injury, took center stage in the fifth and deciding game of the series. Despite his injury, he orchestrated a takeover, proving Larry Legend's greatness. Now, okay. the question lingers, what could Bird have achieved if his back had held up? It's a query a destined to remain unanswered, lost to the realms of hypotheticals. But for a remarkable seven-year span, from 1980 to 1986, Larry Bird reigned supreme. His impact yes, transcended mere statistics. So, w Bird, was man. Larry Bird the basketball god? Well, that's subjective. But one thing is undeniable. He should never be far from the conversation. Whether uh, it's his, I don't think one person is the basketball guy. I just think there's very one <laughs> talented, thing talented players, and there's definitely the like great, the greatest of all great players. There's undeniable. definitely that. He should I never know, be far from the no conversation. God, though. Whether it's his on, one thing is undeniable. He should never be far from the conversation. Facts. Whether it's his on-court finesse, his quirky Facts. remarks, or the battles against the NBA's elite. Time and that will do it. Where is Jordan? Boston Celtics in double overtime and the feet of the Chicago Bulls, 135 to 132 in a wild one. Oh, Dang. and speaking of Larry Bird's greatness, make Get sure to mad right here, over coach. Get a mad oh, here, coach. Wow. Oh, Big Larry got that dub. Larry he greatness. got the win. Make sure w to click Bird. right over here to check out this video where we break down why Michael Jordan rates Larry Bird hey, man. over. Hey, bro. W video. Got to hit the like button, bro. Hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this video right here. What NBA legends and players think of Larry Bird. Bird was an all-time great. 
definitely deserves more. He, he already gets a lot of respect from NBA players, legends, greats, but in general, he needs to get, he deserves all the respect and more, man. More people need to know about Bird's greatness. He was, is amazing, an amazing player, and uh, shit. Another W video about Bird here. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It will really help out. I mean, a lot of posts every day for you guys here. Like I said, more videos like this coming soon. A Bird. Just hit the like button. But thank you for watching the video until the end here. For me until the end, put W Bird in the chat. Bird is a W. Great player. All time great. A legend. A great nine saying trash talking, sense of humor, all that. W guy too. Shit. W Bird, W Bird in the chat, W Bird in the comments. If you mean until the end of this video, let someone know. Put W Bird in the chat. I mean W Bird in the comments. If you mean until the end, that's someone know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. And I'm